Welfare cards used at ATMs, inside strip clubs, casinos, bars, and liquor stores. Outrageous, but we discovered it's true. And every state now has until Saturday to prove to the federal government it's cracking down on people using welfare debit cards like this one at ATMs located in adult businesses. Dan Tilkin has been following the money. And, Dan, you found that Oregon's plan really has almost no teeth. Right. You know, we're talking about the Oregon Trail Card. A family of three can get up to $500 a month for essential things like rent and diapers. But the cash on the card can be spent on anything. I discovered Oregon is relying on the honor system, while Washington has real penalties. I made a visit to Fantasyland Adult Video in Southeast Portland because state records I obtained reveal someone used an Oregon Trail welfare card to withdraw cash from the ATM here. Howdy. Twice. I'm uh, Dan Tilkin with uh, Channel 6 News. And we're here to see if you folks are complying with the new law. I also discovered someone used an Oregon Trail card at the Tiger Liquor Store to make an ATM withdrawal. And that's not all. At the Mystic Strip Club in Southeast Portland, there were multiple withdrawals for a total of $888. There's questionable withdrawals at the Wild Horse Resort and Casino and the Spirit Mountain Casino in Grand Ronde. I also found Oregon Trail withdrawals in Las Vegas at the Poker Palace Casino. The card was used over and over again at liquor stores throughout California. That's just a sample of what surfaced when I went to the Oregon Department of Human Services in 2012 and had them turn over six months worth of data. That was the first time anyone had any idea how often the Oregon Trail card was being used to get cash at questionable places. Fast forward till now and I learned Oregon still has done little to stop people from using these cards to pull cash out of ATMs at places that raise eyebrows. Right now, there's nothing that prevents somebody from using a card in these prohibited locations, right? Um, right. We've been focusing on raising the awareness. We've, we've out, reached out to the vendors. Sochi Esparza runs the $180 million cash assistance program for the Oregon Department of Human Services. The focus on awareness she's talking about are these letters they mail to adult businesses and to people who use the Oregon Trail Card, warning there's new restrictions on where Oregon Trail Cards may be used, banning them from liquor stores, casinos, and places where performers robe. DHS sent each business this sticker to put on their ATM as a warning. But that's all it is, a warning. So I know other states like Washington have told their vendors that you've got to reprogram your ATM so it can't take this card. Why didn't Oregon do that? Well, it, it's not that we didn't do that is, is th that's still an option for us. Oregon is still studying more restrictive options while Washington already says adult businesses caught allowing those banned ATM transactions can lose their business or liquor license. Are you frustrated? I am frustrated a little bit, Dan. Oregon Representative Andy Olson serves on a state legislative committee that's looked at ways at tackling welfare fraud. He wanted to put cardholders names on the front. Right now there's just a number. Olson says he was told it's too expensive and the legislature has other priorities. DHS says it hasn't put more effort into combating fraud in the cash assistance program because the agency has been understaffed and overwhelmed trying to serve a flood of people in need. Does it frustrate you that this has been back burner? It does. It, it does uh, it frustrate me to some degree. I, Again, I'm, I'm interested in accountability. I'm interested in seeing the dollars get to those that truly do need them. I don't like to see abuse, and I most definitely don't like to see fraud. To check on Oregon's honor system, I went back to the Tiger Liquor Store and found they have posted the warning sticker. The same is true at the Mystic Strip Club, but there's no sticker posted at Fantasyland. You haven't news to you? It's news to me. I discovered it's not because the store is doing anything wrong. The federal law does not cover this kind of grown-up business because there aren't any employees to perform in an unclosed state. I found the law also doesn't cover places like bars and tattoo parlors. But DHS promises it's looking at proposing anti-fraud laws to pass 
next year. Whether it's large or, or small, it, it's not the, the most appropriate way to be using uh, your EBT card, so uh, we are working um, for ways to stop it. Of course, you want to know how much money we're talking about. Oregon doesn't know. DHS is relying on the estimates other states found, putting the rate at less than 1%, but out of $187 million, that is still a lot of money. Oh, just across the border, Washington, Dan, you say they, they're banning these ATM withdrawals from bars and tattoo parlors. Right. How's that crackdown going? You know, Washington cautions it is difficult to enforce these laws. You, you know, while one agency keeps the ATM data, I discovered separate agencies enforce the liquor and gambling license. It's hard to bring those together. So far, Washington hasn't fined a single business or a client, but it has seen the number of prohibited transactions drop from hundreds to a few dozen. Now one thing Oregon has done with success, it began telling people who have lost their Oregon Trail card six times, they could be investigated. Well that cut the number of people seeking re uh, replacement cards by 19 percent. Of course we'll stay on top of this and let you know what happens next. Yes, Dan, keep us updated, especially on the legislation to crack down on this. And if you have a story you want Coin6 to investigate, let us know. Send an email to report it at coin.com. Today we followed up with